much and we have continuing team coverage tonight. News 19's Peyton Lewis. She is live outside of the gas station where folks have gathered to demand justice for the teen's death. Some protesters are calling for the store to be closed. Others are bringing cases of water. Peyton, what have you seen this afternoon? Darcy, Andrea, I have seen all of the above this afternoon. People have been out here consistently throughout the day here on Park Lane Road. People with signs, people coming to bring cases of water, like you mentioned, Andrea. People also just out here talking about what exactly happened with this 14-year-old boy named Cyrus chased down the road and shot to death. People describe a wall of shame being posted up inside of the store of photos of people who were suspected of stealing. One woman we spoke with says she just wants justice for this young man and his family. He was hunted down and chased down the street and shot in the back while running away. That's what brings me here because there is no reason, there is no justification, there's absolutely senseless where anybody think that they have the right to kill our children in our neighborhood and think they're going to get away with it. And the suspect in this shooting, Rick Chow, turned himself into the Richland County Sheriff's Department earlier today. We're told Chow is expected to appear in court tomorrow for a first appearance hearing. We do plan to be at that, and you can follow us at WLTX on our website and on social media for more updates. We will remain out here um, talking to protesters and people um, remaining throughout the night. They say that they are wanting to stay out here as much as they possibly can to continue to scream for justice for this young man and his family. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX. Peyton, thank you so much. As we mentioned, that child was 14 years old, a Richland District 2 student. They released a statement this afternoon. Yeah, saying in part the Richland 2 family is devastated to learn of the tragic death of one of our Summit Parkway Middle School students. Our students, teachers and school staff are grieving and our district staff will be there tomorrow to support them through it. The district goes on to say that their deepest sympathies go out to the Carmack Belton family in their loss. The district tells News 19 that Carmack Belton was promoted out of the eighth grade last Thursday.